Just Hi, my name is John Keen, and today we're going to talk about how diamonds are mined. Uh, diamonds are mined, it's a very vicious thing. Uh, but to start out, diamonds uh, were formed, most of them 90 million years ago. Uh, it takes uh, 750,000 pounds per square inch of pressure and 2,000 degrees temperature. And there's volcanoes. Now, 90 million years ago, there were millions of volcanoes. And the lava is formed five miles deep in a volcanic pipe, it's called. And then it, it, it's formed down here five miles below the surface. And these are the vol volcanoes. And the, uh, the lava comes up and out the top. And that happened 90 million years ago. And there's all sorts of diamonds and they are in, in, in this entire pipe, it's called. And uh, over 90 million years, that all erodes away. Uh, and and you, you wind up with flatland after a while. Now, let me see what flatland is gonna look like here to show you. Now, basically, uh, the land flattens out, but under the ground is still a, a, a pipe of di filled with diamonds. Well, not filled with diamonds. Uh, one carat per ton of this stuff. It's a heavy rock. It's uh, like granite, and uh, the diamonds are, are solidly, you know, in this rock, and, it, and and the ground is up here. And then if you happen to dig a little bit below the surface, you might find a diamond or two. But basically. It's all down here. Now, this drawing doesn't really, you can't really appreciate this, but five, the, the, the diamond pipe, unusual volcano, is about one mile in diameter and five miles deep. Now try to visualize like 20 or 30 football fields, well, more than that, I'm not sure. Uh, a huge amount of, of space is one mile circle, and that goes down 20 miles. And that's where the, the diamonds are right now and there's uh, actually a mine mines all over the world right now one in Murfreesboro Arkansas where you can actually dig in the dirt on the top but we will never be able to get all the diamonds in this pipe in in Arkansas Arkansas is probably the richest state in terms of minerals that we have but we're never going to mine them and I'll show you why in order to mine these diamonds you have to dig all of this rock out and it's like granite it's called kimberlite so this rock is like granite. So uh, you have to take it out and grind it up. Uh, so think about a block of granite, however big you can get it, and then chop it up into smaller and smaller. And when you get it into little pebbles, then you can pick the diamonds out. And uh, in order to get them, at first you have to dig down on the side and take all of this dirt out and grind all of these diamonds, grind all this rock. And then when you finish with that, you're going to go deeper and to get this much of it. And then deeper yet. And to make, in order to get down all the way to the bottom, you have to go out 20 miles. So now if you can visualize 20 miles and 20 miles and five miles deep, the Grand Canyon isn't that big. In Africa, they really did this. They did that kind of excavations just to get down into this, all the, all the way down into the, the entire pipe of diamonds. So this huge amount of dirt and rock and diamonds has to be removed from this area, which is 20 miles, 40 miles wide and five miles deep. And uh, then what nobody thinks about when you say, well, we can dig it up, is where are you gonna put all this stuff? So somewhere else, there has to be a five mile high mountain, 20 miles long, full of just all the stuff that came out of here. So poor Murfreesboro, Arkansas is never going to be, uh, uh, never going to uh, be mined, I don't think. I can't fathom anywhere on the earth that it'd be acceptable to do that uh, anymore. Uh, but uh, that's the story of how diamonds are mined. What I want to do uh, soon is explain the difference between man-made diamonds and the, oh, uh, another thing is when their diamonds are down five miles deep and we have our 2000 degrees and 750,000 pounds per square inch, 
that has that pressure and temperature has to be maintained. If it's one minute, you're not you won't even get a diamond. If it's an hour, you might get a fleck of a diamond. In order to get a one carat, we have to have that same temperature and pressure for at least a week for one diamond, for a one carat diamond. More for three and four carat diamonds, it has to go on and on. And uh, that's why it's expensive to produce even the lab ones, as the bigger ones are more expensive, because it takes more time and pressure. But that's it. Next time, we'll talk about how lab diamonds are formed. Have a great day. There is somebody here that's going to shut that off, but she's taking her time about getting here because she's got more important things to do.